Hello friends, welcome back to another video tutorial in Revit architecture. I am architect Sonu Rai from Glad Studio and in this today video tutorial, I am going to teach you how to render a floor plan in Revit architecture without the use of Photoshop. So if you don't know Photoshop and if you want to present it to your client using Revit architecture only you can do it in Revit architecture only so I am going to teach you so this is a floor plan of residence and I am going to render in Revit architecture only without the use of Photoshop so I am going to my visual style here and this is hidden line so I am going to change it and make it to realistic so you can see this is the realistic view but there is no uh, application of colors here and materials so i am going to make it realistic colors and materials so first i am going to change the color of this wall so generally you can use red or black so i am going to select this and now i am going to my edit type here and i am going to structure here edit and can create a duplicate here uh, i will tell you you can create a duplicate here so I am going to create a duplicate here and I am going to structure here and default new material here. I will select these three dots and now you can see here this cut pattern here and I am going to change the foreground color and can use either black. So I have placed black columns here. So I am going to use a uh, red here and you can change this uh, solid fill here and you can also change this background here also to red and pattern to solid fill now i'm going to apply okay okay apply and you can see we have changed this wall color to red here and now this is the time for interior wall so i'm going to do the same thing so i'm going to select this basic wall interior here and this is a basic wall interior wall so i'm going to edit uh, this is interior wall so i'm going to change the material from default material one so i'm going to cut pattern here and you can apply the same red here and you can change the pattern to solid fill same you can repeat to background also so it can avoid any confusion here and click apply here so this is the interior wall and now we will select this wall also and this is basic uh, generic 5 inch so I am going to create a duplicate here and We'll edit the structure here and we'll go to material by category and I'm going to select this default new material only and I'll click OK apply OK and you can see this is the red only and this is another wall material here so I'm going to apply the same material here by matching uh, this property here ma this is the sort command and you can see this is the wall which is very nice looking and no need of photoshop so next i'm going to apply a flooring here so i am going to create a flooring for this parking area you can either use google also for downloading uh, material textures or you can use default revit so i will use default revit so i'm going to uh architecture here and i'm going to select a floor here and i'm going to select your generic 12 inch floor and i'm going to edit this and i will create a duplicate here and i will rename this as a parking and you can go to edit type here and you can uh, make it to six inches floor or you can even create less or one inch so this is just for 2d floor plan so we will not consider this thickness of floor so i am going to create a new material here and now i am going to asset browser here and i will create a tile material here so we'll use flooring tile here 
So I'm going to use ceramic and I'm going to use this terracotta here or we'll use some other material here. Six inch by two inch orange yellow or of the green we'll use and I'm going to apply okay apply okay and now I'm going to draw this flooring here So we can do it in Revit only without the use of Photoshop. And we'll trim this. I'm going to finish this. And you can see this is the parking area. And now I'm going to do it this for hall. And I'm going to again my floor here and you can edit type and you can duplicate this and you can rename this as a hall flooring and you can edit this material and I am going to create a new material here and I am going to asset browser and I will search for marble here and we will use appearance flooring and i am going to use marble white green so this is just to make you understand you can use any of the material if you want according to your design so i am going to use this marble in my hall area So now I'm going to trim this and we'll bring this near to wall here. Now I'm going to finish this and you can see this is the hall area and now I'm going to make the bedroom here. So we'll make a floor for bedroom and I'm going to create a bedroom flooring we will duplicate this and we will rename this as a bedroom flooring so I am going to click ok ok and now I am going to use a wooden flooring here so I will change this structure of this flooring and I am going to create a new material here and I will search for wood here and we'll select this flooring here and you can select any of this wooden flooring i will click apply ok ok apply ok and now i'm going to use this rectangle here quickly or draw a flooring pattern here and i will finish it so we will use the same material for this bedroom also so i am going to my flooring here and i am going to use this line command and we will create a flooring here drag this further here. and you can finish this and line cannot intersect each other so here is intersection so we have to trim this and we will drag this here 
and now you can see this is the bedroom and you can do this same for bathroom so i am going to create a bathroom flooring so i will use this floor here i will go to edit type duplicate and i am going to use bathroom flooring <coughs> i will go to structure edit and we will go to default new material i am going to create a new material here and we will use this mosaic gray here for timing and I'm going to apply OK, OK, apply and we'll use this pick or I will use this line only and we'll use this trim I'm going to finish this so this is the gray material you can change the scale also if you want and i'm going to control z here and i'm going to edit the material here the scale and you can click on this image here and you can change the scale here this is a scale is two four two feet four inch so i'm going to make this as fit so it will increase the size here and you can apply this and you can finish this here so you can see this scale is increased here likewise you can adjust your scale and I am going to create the same flooring here for this bathroom also you can finish this See, this is the method of presentation and you can use this for your client presentation you can avoid photoshop if you don't know photoshop or else you can export this image and improve this in photoshop you can use your shadow here shadow you can turn on your shadow so it will give in depth here so it will give a 3d look and you can change the sun path here and you can adjust this shadow here and you can turn it on if you want your shadow so this was the tutorial for the today's session in the next session i will come with some more interesting topics in revit architecture so thanks for watching please like share and subscribe my channel bye bye